Break the cult and set your mind free. That's what Chris Nelson, a former massive Donald Trump supporter, just posted after I did an interview with him on Friday. It was an incredible interview that you may have seen here, but we have been reporting here on the Midas Touch Network about all of these former MAGA people and former Trumpers who are now waking up to the fact that this is all a grift, this is all a lie. And we've been also reporting on people who have been leaving the Republican Party in mass because the Republican Party has left them as MAGA has taken over. I'm going to show you a portion of that Chris Nelson interview in just a bit, but I want to show you this as well. This comes from Aiden David Marietta, also a mainstream conservative who goes, I agree and stand by with my friend Chris Nelson. And what he said was spot on. A lot of us, including myself, were duped and thought we were fighting the fight. I admit that we were wrong. And it's a shame that our party cannot admit the same. Get a lot of statements like that, a lot of messages like that that I want to share with you. This from Justin George. Thank you at my Cellus B and at Midas Touch for having Chris Nelson on Midas Touch. Like Chris, I was a Trump supporter. I walked away from Trump three days before the November 2022 general election. I think it's important for everyone to hear what Chris has to say. And you know, from watching the Midas Touch Network, one of the favorite things that I like to share with you is when you all share your stories with me, former Trump supporters, former Republicans, maybe you still consider yourself a mainstream Republican or an independent, but Knowing that the Republican Party has left you now that it's gone full culty, Trumpy, MAGA, and wannabe fascism, and weird, and authoritarian. And so let me share some of these stories with you. Here's one person wrote to me, I'm a lifelong Republican and regretted voting for Trump in 16 and did not vote for him in 20 and will be voting Democrat for the first time ever. My dad is going to be turning over in his grave, but I have to do what's right for a democracy and vote for a president and not a dictator. Lewis wrote to me, I'm a Republican, supported Romney in 2012, Trump 2016, Biden 2020, and now after seeing the Republicans stray from their founding principles and my disgust for the 45th president, I again will support Biden. Austin wanted to share this story with all of us, Midas Mighty. Wanted to share my story of how he became a Republican turned Democrat. I always supported the Republican Party because my family was always a Republican supporting family. I regret to say that I supported Trump in 2016, wasn't old enough to vote yet, and didn't bother voting in 2020, which I now believe was a huge mistake. After January 6th, I decided that I couldn't support Trump anymore, and after Roe v. Wade being overturned, I couldn't be a Republican supporter order anymore and switch side with the Democrats, which is undoubtedly one of the best decisions of my life. Now, I am doting, donating to any Democratic candidate or cause in any way I can, and I use my voice to keep people from voting for Trump and or the Republican Party. Thanks for sharing that. I got more stories to share with you, but if you hadn't seen my interview with uh, Chris Nelson, here's the message that he has for current Trump supporters. Let's play this clip. What, what's your final message, though, to the kind of Trump supporters out there, to those who are still in MAGA? What, what do you say to them? Well, there's really not much I can say because there is a, uh, a cult-like uh, thing going on here. Um, but, but all I can say is, uh, God, is what I've already said. It's like, guys, um, you, it's okay to, to be on the other side of it. Look, we're ha I'm having a conversation with Ben Micellis here. I mean, it's it's okay to be on the other side and admit that uh, that you are con. Listen, if grifting was an art, Trump would be Picasso. If grifting was music, Trump would be Mozart. Donald Trump is a grifting prodigy. He has superhuman abilities to pull the blinds over people's eyes. So if you were taken by him, if you were had by him, don't feel bad about it. I was. I'm a smart guy. A lot of people were. And it's okay to admit that you were wrong. Move on. And there's freedom and joy on the other side. Guys, it's okay to, to leave MAGA. 
you're going to be okay. <laughs> it doesn't make you a traitor to America. And by the way, that was one of the my favorite interviews I've ever done. I'm so grateful for Chris to do that interview and share that message. Let me share some more messages I've received. I was a Republican, but no more. Thank you, Trump. You woke me up. Another person writes, I'm a registered Republican for 10 years. I started to hate Trump from the beginning. And I'm wondering since that, how is it possible not to see what this guy really is? The same is with that high tech clown. I will vote for Biden and would ask everybody, let's save our country. Next comment, I'm a registered Republican and a never Trumper, and I will proudly vote for President Biden for the fourth time in November. My dad was a Republican until 2021. He was on duty at the ER on January 6th. He lives in D.C. He's a huge supporter of police. And after seeing cops who were hurt, I don't know, something changed. He's voting for Biden this year. Carol writes to me, so far I have changed three Trump Republicans' minds. They will now vote for Joe Biden, and I'm not through yet. I have also turned five others onto the Midas Touch Network, and they are all glad that I did. They all wanted the truth, and now they hear the truth every day. You may be wondering, well, what's the breaking point for a Trump supporter to say, I'm not going to support this guy anymore? Well, I was fortunate enough in my interview with Chris Nelson for him to share with me the moment where he left MAGA. And it was when he was watching the January 6th committee hearings and he saw Jason Miller and uh, all of the people who he was close with. Some of these people were his friends who he believed. You know, I mean, Chris Nelson led some of these Stop the Steal rallies in Florida because he was relying on what these people were telling him. And then he watched them testify under penalty of perjury during the January 6th committee that they knew that they were lying. They knew Trump lost. Watch what uh, Chris Nelson says here. It's incredible. Play the clip. When I saw those testimonies, when I watched the Roger Stone documentary, and, and I said, I said, Roger, you, you, you didn't, you knew it wasn't stolen. You knew it, but you let people um, believe it was. And then Trump leads his most loyal supporters into basically a trap on, on January 6th and then doesn't pardon a single one of them. And here's another thing, Ben, you see these people like Alina Haba and Siggy Flicker, the Real Housewives of Mar-a-Lago. Oh, they're partying it up, man. But our, the J6ers are sitting in prison. He has not helped any one of them financially. He didn't pardon any one of them. And they were his most loyal supporters. But I do want to tell your listeners that when it comes to the January 6ers, remember that they were caught up in a lie. Trump got them so riled up with the the Proud Boys, the stand back and stand by stuff, they got so riled up. And I saw really the, the lack of any regard for, um, for his most loyal supporters. And, and that, was, that was just shocking to me. And, and that angered me a lot, Ben. And uh, I, I just hope that more people do that. It's hard to admit that you were wrong. It's very hard to admit that you were duped. But uh, there is freedom on the other side. All right. We have time to share just a few more comments, though. And you're not going to want to miss these. My husband, a lifelong Republican, is done. He's switching parties, not only not voting for any Republicans, but leaving the party. Melody writes, my last roommate was a lifelong Republican along with her family. Her mom named the dog DJ after Trump. After she lived with me for four years, she finally saw the light as she walked through the room. I was watching CBS News and she would stop and ask questions and I answered all her questions. By the time she moved out, she was repulsed by Trump and for her first time voting, she'll be voting for Biden this year. I'm a physician, registered Democrat and naturalized citizen. In February of 2017, a patient came to my office to tell me how deeply sorry she was for something she had done. I thought to myself, it's okay. You cheated on me and went to another doctor. Turned out she was only deeply sorry or she was deeply sorry that she had voted for Trump. The immigration ban was the icing on the cake for her. This lifetime Republican is now a registered Democrat and incredibly liberal. Um, someone writes, left Republican Party after 35 years in 2016 once Trump was nominated. Vote Dem straight down the ticket and will continue to do so. After seeing the craven cowardice, violent insurrection, bigotry, and dictator loving in the GOP will never vote Republican. Bob writes, I voted Republican all my life. 
I'm 68, and after the January 6th event, I have not and will not vote Republican again until Trump and MAGA are gone. Um, Next comment, I voted for Trump twice, but never again. Voting for Biden in November, voting for democracy. I'm Republican, I will never vote for Trump. And then you got this image right here, Liz Cheney speaking in Iowa, basically packing the entire stadium right there of kind of former Trumpers and former Republicans as well. And look, I think it's important that we don't just talk the talk here on the Midas Touch Network. I think it's so important that we walk the walk and we have these in conversations with people who we may disagree with on certain policies. I mean, you know, Chris and I, Chris Nelson and I, uh, readily acknowledge that we have um, different policy views to this day, and we probably strongly disagree on certain things. But when it comes to the threat posed by Donald Trump to our democracy, we could find some common ground. We can have conversations with civility. And with the media letting us all down, with the media failing to do its job, it's incumbent on us, you watching this, to help spread this message, to share these videos. I promise you that we share this information. Information is power. And if we get 19, 20 million people every 48 hours who watch this network, which is the data, think about that. If everybody here just reaches out to a few people, shares this information like you saw in the comments, it's going to be the game changer with getting accurate data out there. And that's what we all want. So I ask for you for your help just in that. Get the info out. That's the best thing that you can do. Hit subscribe, share your story or stories like the ones that I've read below. And next week, I will read your story, hopefully. So share it below in the comments. I'd love to hear from it, from you. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day and hit subscribe right now. It's Ken Harbaugh with the Midas Touch Network. The film Against All Enemies, which I co-produced with Ben Micellis and this network, has won awards around the world for its up-close portrayal of America's insurrectionist movement. It premieres in the U.S. on March 29th on Amazon and Apple TV. Go to AgainstAllEnemiesFilm.com or click the link below. But don't just watch Against All Enemies. Tell your friends about it. It's one more way to hold accountable those who threaten our democracy. Thanks Midas Mighty, let's use our power well.